Hello friends, my name is Katie from Eternal Flame and today I thought I'd share with you a quick flip through of my 13th week, sorry, into my 14th week of my Hobonichi weeks for 2022. If you're interested in seeing how it turned out and why it kind of looks different than some of my older spreads, please stick around. Thanks everyone. Alright, so actually this 13th week uh, was crazy busy and because I am tra transitioning back into the office and have a lot of things going on with my personal life and school and everything, um, I actually didn't have time to set this up. I like to use my Hobonichi weeks as a pre-planner, so I plan for the week. Um, I like to set out my tasks uh, before the week starts to give myself an idea of what appointments I have coming up and then what tasks need to get done. If they're not designated on a specific day, then I like to have task lists on the side here on the right. But because I was so busy and I had not set up the 13th week, I'm going to present this to you as a more minimalist approach and it was actually from the back end. So I actually did this spread on Monday the following week. So it was more as a way for me to keep reflect on the previous week and have an idea like memory keeping wise what I did and accomplished the week before um, some of the appointments that I wanted to highlight so that maybe in a few months I know um, for example that I went to a gala on Thursday the 31st so yep that's just the background here um, in in that spirit, I actually use the right side of the page to journal a little bit. I try to film a plan with me. So if you're interested in seeing, I guess, the whole process of setting this up, I will try to tack that on in like a sped through version at the end of this video. So do stick around for that. What I did here was I used my sticky club um, note paper that came with, I believe the February, 2022 subscription vintage pack. It had this great Asian theme, which I thought was so fitting since I went to a gala for Chinese Americans on Thursday. I know this is um, actually more Japanese themed, but that's okay. You know, I've also been digging uh, green tea, <laughs> uh, matcha lattes and things. So I thought that it was, it was fine. <laughs> Um, so also keeping in mind, I typically like to use my color coded grade washi tape that I picked up off Amazon. And so for March, I was using this beautiful green color here. And then for April, I decided to switch to purple for like Easter type esque theme. And so you'll see that up here as well. So because this week's transitions from March into April, I decided to use some of the beautiful purple color. And I tied that in with my Archer and Olive Calligraph pen. Um, that I've been using pretty often in this beautiful purple blue bell color. That's what they're calling it here. And that's what you'll see I used here for adventure and just as like a backdrop to some of my DIY planner stickers. So I just wanted to mark um, the day I went out, the days I've gone into the office that week. So that's with my DIY washi dot stickers here, um, following my key in the front, days I'm on site. And then I, <laughs> What I love about this spread is that this is the very first spread that I featured um, my brand new Pilot Vanishing Point pen that I have here paired with my um, Diatramentis Archive ink in black and I'm absolutely, absolutely loving this pen. I got it in the EF nib. Um, if you're interested, I will try to link it in the description box down below. I'm not sure if Amazon carries any more of the EF nib, so I'll try to keep an eye on it and if they run out, then I'll try to link something like the Fine Point, which is actually actually what I was planning on getting, but at the last minute I decided to just go for the EF because my handwriting is so tiny. Um, I know sometimes people find EF nibs to be somewhat scratchy and I didn't feel that way really. Like I, I got where they're coming from, but I didn't feel that way too much. Like it didn't bother me in any way. Um, the pros of an EF nib for me with like such tiny handwriting outweighed the scratchy feeling or relatively scratchy feeling of my Caveco Sport, so I decided to just go for it and try the EF nib for this pen. It's a pretty large investment. I've been waiting months to get this, so this is really exciting for me. <laughs> um, so as you can see here, all of the handwriting really, I think on this page was done with this EF nib. And I kind of want to give you a comparison between that and my Caveco uh, EF. So this is, I think with my Caveco um, fountain pen here as opposed to this one, which I think is a lot finer. It almost um, reminds me of my hmm, Pigma Micron in the 005 felt tip pen, which is amazing because I, I have not found a pen that is 
I think, more fine than that. So I'm loving it. It's a little less bold, I think, but it's going to help me to be able to fit more on this left side here. So I went with this, this uh, Sakura or Cherry Blossom theme this week because um, in New York, at least, the cherry blossoms are starting to bloom. Um, so it's pretty exciting at my block. Uh, there, I guess the city planted a bunch of cherry blossoms going down one of the streets um, just next to us. So like just catty corner from us and then just walking down it's so beautiful it's my favorite time of year so i wanted to make sure that not only <laughs> so excited to find a purpose for these um, beautiful stickers from the sticky club but also i wanted to mark that in my calendar so that it gives me something to look forward to um, around this time next year so that's what I have here. I actually used to go to cherry blossom festivals in like DC or in New York City. I'm not sure that I'll have time to enjoy that this year, but um, yeah, it just brings back fond memories. And then so I journal here on the right about how we went to the gala, met a bunch of new people, and it's definitely out of the ordinary for me. I'm very much an introvert. So I just journaled about how in order for me to be successful and make a difference in the world, I need to learn how to, I guess, embrace adventure and kind of put myself out there and be more comfortable with meeting new people uh, doing presentations and things so that was kind of exciting that's what i journaled about then moving into the 14th week here um, it covered april 4th into the 10th so today is actually april 4th which is my dad's birthday um, i was hoping to celebrate with him by going out for dinner and taking him out for like to one of our favorite restaurants but it seems like he might be a little too busy um, what I used this week are some more of my sticky club stickers. I just love these stickers. Um, I think this came from the February sticky cute pack, sticky club subscription cute pack. Um, and of course <laughs> the theme is cherry blossoms and Shiba Inus, which one of my good friends has the cutest Shiba Inu. So this actually reminds me a lot of him. <laughs> uh, and then I think he's eating little like octopus balls or something like some street food, which is so cute. And I kept the designers, um, information so if you're interested in the designer of the sticker sheet their information is down here it's kind of silly it's i think a little idiot.com <laughs> so um yeah <laughs> if you're looking for this artist that's where you can find that this this sticker was from um, that same subscription but a different artist so i use that to mark the presentation that i have on friday this week is very loaded um once again going into the office hoping to maybe spend one extra day at home instead of going in three days three full days um and that's what i have here i went back to using the hobonichi basic stencil here as well as my uni jet stream pen to draw out these um I guess these task check boxes here, my favorite, favorite stencil and pen for that because I don't have to wait for it to dry. And once again, I used my brand new Pilot Vanishing Point pen. Oh my gosh, I gotta, I gotta show you guys here in this video. I did another video, but I'm not sure if it's gonna make it out onto YouTube, but basically you just hit it and it just punches right out. It's amazing. And I haven't had really any problems with it drying um, because it's so easy to just cap it. You don't just I, I guess once you get into the habit of clicking it open and close um you don't just leave it out on the desk and it doesn't dry um it's just it's ready to go i don't have to wipe it before i start writing it's it's been great i'm really happy with this purchase i love these stickers once again because not only are they clear but they glitter look at them they're so shiny um but yeah so and then i used two of my archer and olive calligraph pens here as well the same ones blue bell and that dusty rose um, to just kind of highlight the page segment it a little bit and i use this little section here not only to track the weather so it's 48 degrees today with the sun shining so bright um, but also to write that i went for a walk with bailey which like i said is one of our goals um, moving forward hopefully we'll spend a little bit more time uh, with our family to just go for walks and enjoy the weather while we still can all right thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video today i really really appreciate it if you enjoyed this video i would really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up to let me know thank you so much and until next time bye everyone